Hello guys, this is Malone. Welcome to a new Forex Education video. This time we will talk about resistance and support level. I'm sure that you hear about those concepts before, right? But it's weird. Sounds like everyone has their own opinion about support and resistance. How about if we learn the basic first? Let's see. Look at the diagram above. As you can see, the zigzag pattern is making its way up, or bull market. When the forex market moves up and then pulls back, the highest point reached before it pulled back is now resistance. As the market continues up again, the lowest point reached before it started back is now support. One thing to remember is that forex resistance and support levels are not exact numbers are not exact numbers. Why? Let me explain to you in this example. Oftentimes you will see a support or resistance level that appears broken, but soon after find out that the market was just testing it. With candlestick charts, this test of support and resistance are usually represented by the candlestick shadows. Notice how the shadows of the candles test the 1.4700 support level. At those times, it seemed like the market was breaking support. In hindsight, we can see that the market was merely testing that level. So how can we truly know if the support or resistance level was broken? Many people ask the same question, but there is no one answer to this question. Actually, some people argue that if the market closes past that support or resistance level, that means that those levels are broken. But actually, it's not always like that. Let me explain to you in this example. Let's take our same example from above and see what happened when the price actually closed past the 1.4700 support level. In this case, the price had closed below the 1.4700. 4700 support level, but ended up rising back up above it. Looking at the chart now, you can visually see and come to the conclusion that the support was not actually broken. It is still very much intact and now even stronger. To help you filter out those false breakouts, you should see the resistance and support levels as zones rather than a concrete number. I also recommend to use line charts when plotting or identifying uh, resistance and support levels. Why? Because line charts, they will show you the closing prices and they will not add the extreme highs and the extreme lows that the candlesticks, the candlestick charts show. Looking at the line chart, you want to plot your support and resistance lines around areas where you can see the price forming several peaks or valleys. Okay guys, let me tell you other interesting points about forex support and resistance. The first one, when the price passes through resistance, that resistance could potentially become support. The more often price tests a level of resistance or support without breaking it, the stronger the area of resistance or support is. When a support or resistance level breaks, the strength of the follow through move depends on how strongly the broken support or resistance has been holding. My friends, with just a little practice, you can be able to identify very easily those forex support and resistance levels. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any question, please comment. And we hope also that you can share with your friends. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.